by so many. Listen to your coaches, your teammates, but most importantly, trust yourself and your work. A lot of players say the best advice they get during the finals is to shut their phone off. Draymond Green locks it into Porter. Porter has to adjust, but still gets it to go. Nice pass from Eric. Oh, he is still without a three-pointer in these finals. Now 0 for 10. He was much talked about after game four with that long time on the bench in the fourth quarter. Thompson on Jalen Brown. Brown fakes, fires, jumpers good. That's a tough shot. Good defense by working on it in the pregame. Brown has had some excellent postseason, including a couple of terrific games here in the finals as Wiggins floats it up and in. That's a tough shot. Here comes Curry. Curry going coast to coast, lays it up and in. Bigger length. The ability to eliminate with that strength, get Tatum out of the pitcher. Brown throws it inside, and Robert Williams, such a lob threat. Williams has been invaluable, really, at both ends. Doesn't score a lot of points, but his presence makes a big difference. Draymond Green lays it up and in. And that's what they're trying to get Green to do right now. I do not like the take foul by Jason Tatum. I just think when you're a star, you run back, you try to block the shot, but you don't foul unnecessarily. Wiggins makes his move. Falling away. Jumper's good. Wiggins. This Clay Thompson is bleeding him at his mouth. A lot of blood right now. We're gonna have to take a look at that. Oh, what a fake from Draymond Green! Timeout, Boston. High in any game in I, Game Four. I'm so impressed with his start tonight too. Like guys like Wiggins are oftentimes up and down. He's been to me rock solid in this final. Absolutely. Thompson pull up jump shot. It's good lead for Golden State. They've hit seven of their first ten from the field. Whereas the Celtics struggling early on shooting. Horford against Curry. Here comes the help, but Horford sneaks inside. Can't finish. Gets the rebound. Back up and in. The second effort from Al Horford. Well, Green said he was livid having to sit all that time. But he said you got to roll with it. And that's what the coach says. He's off to a strong start. Thompson knocks down a long three. Josh Tippett, Tony Brothers, Mark Davis, our officials, Jalen Brown to the basket and the foul. That's bad side out of you know, Doka talking about. They wanted to keep everyone else in check. They certainly didn't want Curry to have 43, but an interesting strategy here. Right, and what that was four on four theory does is Peyton knocks in the three and forced the hand of the, the Warriors defense. Smart spins, lost it, picked up by Curry, throws it ahead to Payton. Here comes Gary Payton, stumbles and tripped up from behind. And they're going to say in the act of shooting. So two free throws for Payton. Well, the foul is against Grant Williams. Payton a little shaken up. He tripped by himself. And he wasn't in the... He wasn't in the... Uh, gathering in the upward motion. Well, Peyton is one of the, the neat stories this year. He's 29 years old, the son of a legend. That's not easy. He was way before the start of the season because a portion of his contract was going to be guaranteed. 29 other teams declined to claim him. So Golden State brought him back and they gave him his first guaranteed contract in six years after he wasn't drafted out of Oregon State. Five years in the G League. Ten-day contracts. Two-way contracts. And now he's such a special part of this team and has become a spectacular defensive player. It might be an incredible part of the story. I saw an interview with him. A lot of contact as White gets knocked down. Still Boston ball. Mark. I don't know if many people notice. He was coming back wanting to be the video coordinator for the Golden State Warriors. That is absolutely unbelievable. Well, he didn't want to go to the G League. He wanted to stay close to the NBA, but he was willing to accept that. Anything to stay around. And all the different places he played. He got cut a lot of times, including Golden State, cut him twice. And because of the foul trouble to Looney, Andre Iguodala inserted into the game. Iguodala's played 14 minutes in these finals. Jordan Poole comes in for Clay Thompson. Iguodala, of course, a great veteran. 
What has been the devil by injuries is Peyton Pritchard stepped out of bounds. That's four turnovers now for Boston. One thing I'm watching this Warriors offense, and it shows the greatness and the unselfishness of Steph Curry. He's not chasing shots. He's willing to be the decoy the way that he's being defended by the Celtics. Grant Williams now on Curry. Curry beats him off the dribble. Floats it over Grant, over Williams. And he gets the nice bounce. So it's White, Pritchard, Grant, and Robert Williams, and Tatum back in. Tatum makes his move, gets inside, throws it up and in. What a tough shot. He also said to Mark Davis, I got hit. That's his first shot attempt. Curry comes up short. Pritchard the rebound. Tatum got to his right hand on that drive. They had done a good job of limiting the right hand drive previously. And I like him getting the basketball in this position. Sees the help and able to win his matchup. Tatum. Tough turnaround shot. It's good. Beautiful move from Tatum. Back to back field goals. You know, before they, they put him in that dirt spot. The middle of the floor at the foul line. A lot of it, it seems tighter than it is. I like the way he's isolated on the wing and has the ability to see all the action. Eric White with some physical ball denial on Wiggins. One on one with Wiggins. Turns, shoots, scores. Wiggins got six points here in the first. You know, overall in these finals, he's been.